This girl has gone down in history. She became the first black woman to win a prestigious beauty pageant. Janelle Commission became Miss Universe 1977. How did her life turn out? And what does she look like today? You will be surprised to see that even after 46 years she is still amazing. Keep watching, this is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! What is beauty? It's hard to say, probably to find the answer to it. People began to hold beauty contests. The most popular of them, Miss Universe, was founded in 1952. But for the first few years, it was mostly girls of European appearance that won it. The entire beauty industry was oriented mainly towards them. These girls were considered the standard of beauty for a long time. But the world began to rapidly change in favor of diversity and tolerance. Only in 1977, for the first time in history, a black girl won the Miss Universe pageant. Miss Trinidad Tobago is Miss Universe! Janelle Commission was from the small Caribbean country of Trinidad and Tobago. After winning the title, she was most commonly known as Penny, because she was small as a penny. Miss Trinidad Tobago voted Miss Photogenic by the press photographer. At that time, Janelle was 24 years old and had never been on stage before. Moreover, she did not even dream of becoming an actress or model. The girl moved from her native country to the United States at the age of 13 and lived there for 10 years with her parents. She studied at Manhattan's Fashion Institute of Technology and wanted to become a fashion designer. I had just moved back to Trinidad, so I did it for promotion. I hadn't been there for some years and wanted people to know who I was. I went into a local pageant without any expectations, she said. Everyone was shocked when this ordinary girl, who had never stepped on stage before, became the winner. She captivated the jury with her sophistication and manners. After winning, her life completely changed. The whole world was talking about her. Because this victory marked the beginning of new trends in the world of beauty, girls of different appearance and nationality began to appear in magazines and in advertising. Thanks to Janelle, women of African descent were encouraged to be more and do more. She marked the beginning of a new era in the world of beauty. However, at that time not everyone in society was ready for such changes. A person of color was not a typical beauty, said Janelle in an interview. The main chaperone for the pageant winners was very unhappy that a black woman had won over a white Miss USA. One day she said to me, Janelle, don't think you are the most beautiful girl in the world. I was quick on my feet and responded, the organization you work for told me I was. After winning, Penny became a national icon in her country, because she was the first in this state to win an international beauty contest. Also, she became an advocate for black rights and world peace, and received the Trinity Cross, the highest possible award a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago can receive. According to the rules of the competition, after the victory she had to travel and take part in charity events. Penny took on this job with great joy. She understood that she had a great responsibility, because she had to protect the rights of people of African descent. So she visited many African, Asian and European nations. The girl called her victory a step in the right direction toward changing racial attitudes, but she also knew that it would take more than a pageant to change the status of black women in the industry. She may well have added and in life in general. In her country, Penny became very respected. However, she did not receive any special privileges from the government at the time of her victory. I got my name on a plane, but not once did I get a discounted ticket. I flew at full price, just like the person in 14J, she laughs. Part of her prize from the competition actually was a year's contract and a screen test with Paramount Pictures, one of Hollywood's major film studios. 
However, Penny refused to make a career in Hollywood. She understood that it would be difficult for her to compete with professional actresses. After all, the contract did not guarantee her success. So she decided to take a cash prize instead of a contract with Paramount Pictures. After her duties as a beauty pageant winner ended, she eventually opened her clothing business and married an entrepreneur, Brian Bowen, founder of Bowen Marine. This was one of the region's best boat building enterprises. However, in 1989, her husband tragically died in a car accident. Penny had to take over his company. She later admitted that it was a hostile industry because all of her partners and clients were male who typically thought that a beauty queen was out of place in that business. But she took up business seriously and broke this stereotype. She proved that a woman can successfully manage a large boat building business and achieve great results. Nobody thought a beauty queen could handle it, but she could. Soon she married the second time to businessman and a giant in the media industry, Holvin Cho. The couple adopted a girl, Sasha. Penny was named chair of Tourism Trinidad and Destination Management Company in 2017. From 2012 to 2015, she served as vice chair of its predecessor agency, the Tourism Development Company. Today, Queen Penny, as she is fondly called, is 69 years old, but no one can believe it. She still looks great, much younger than her years and enjoys life. She uses her considerable influence to continue to advocate for the rights of women. Her second husband died in New York in 2021, but she remains strong and confident as many years ago. Penny does not have a strict beauty regimen now, and she still feels awkward when people discuss her physical form, but she admits that beauty pageants, despite their focus on physical beauty, offer a lot of opportunities for women. Beauty queens managed to draw attention to many problems in the world and change a lot of people's minds. Penny is still an icon in her country, her pageant win put Trinidad and Tobago on the map, and she's been honored by having her image on the nation's postage stamps. Recently, a main street in Port of Spain was renamed for her. Trinidad and Tobago won independence from Britain in the 1960s, so naming a street after someone local, says Queen Penny, may help young people coming up have a sense of our history. This woman not only changed the idea of beauty around the world, but also proved that women can do business on an equal footing with men. That is why people all over the world still admire her. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time.